Hello, dear, and welcome to Ask a Pro uh, meeting. So we've been collecting questions and I'll start asking them slowly, slowly. So here's the first one. We got it from Kate and uh, here are two maps. And let me read you a question. Um, I'm a manifester and my husband is a projector. Here are our charts. I'm born from two projected parents and he's born from two manifester parents, which is fascinating, right? Uh, I'm waking up to realization of how penetrating the projector aura is. And if I were really listening to my body, I would take more alone time to fill my space. Something perhaps I've uh, compromised in the, in the past in order to receive love in the only way I knew how, going along with and saying yes, just because I was afraid if I say no, I'd be alone. I've just started to sleep separately and eat differently, out of deep listening. Sharing things for the sake of sharing doesn't feel right anymore. And I feel fears around this. And I can feel this insecurity in going my own way. Do you have anything to share on the projector manifesto relationship? Well, <laughs> Uh, thank you for sharing this. Uh, uh, of course, in order to go particularly into your story, I would need uh, some more information about what uh, really, you know, um, is his side on that. Because as we know, projectors, they are here to penetrate. And other people with other aura, they feel this penetration really, really strong. Even though the manifesto aura is kind of a dance, yeah, it's, it's a very, very dense field. So usually um, projector feels like he cannot get in. And even Kate, if you are feeling like he's penetrating you and you need some time alone, because when you are together, you kind of under the radar constantly and you feel that that uh, stream of light, yeah, stream of this scanning energy on you, you, you cannot feel relaxed. You just cannot be in your zone, in your peace, so to say. So that's why slowly you are waking up into uh, accepting yourself as you are and not trying to be someone who, who you're not. But the projector at the same time doesn't feel like he's scanning you totally. You know, uh, I'm a projector myself, so I know how it works with the manifestor people. Yeah, when the mind tells me, ah, okay, he's probably like this or like that, but the energy feel kind of is not ready for it totally. It's like, is it really what I'm thinking? Is it true or not true? So yeah, you might feel angry with, the, with the yourself that you're not letting yourself space. And he can feel bitter because he's here for you, but he doesn't really feel you. And that's where we um, bring the notion of the strategy and authority. The fact that you are here to inform him why you are doing this or that. Yeah, do you do that? And how do you do that? Because when you are in peace with yourself, in the way you are sharing information, and in the way um, what you're sharing in that sharing, there is no way for you to feel um, afraid, yeah, to feel wrong, because you know that you expressed yourself. And uh, yeah, of course, we see that both of you are not emotional. And uh, obviously you, you feel difficult in expressing your emotions because when emotions are open, it's like, okay, how do I feel? How I don't, don't feel? Maybe what I feel is not really what I feel. Yeah, maybe I need more time, but you're spontaneous. You're a splenic ego manifester. So you, you kind of can burst in the moment and then like, hey, why did I say this? Why did I say that? So it's your journey to find kind of your pace, your time in the way you're sharing in how you're sharing and when you're sharing yourself. Yeah, and when, when I say sharing, it also, of course, means informing him, because that's the thing. At some point, you, you may think that you are, like things are getting obvious, but for your partner, it's not that obvious anymore. And so um, just double check with you. If you decide to sleep alone, if you 
completely inform him about what is the space in you that makes that decision. Yeah, making sure that he understands it properly. And of course, um, doesn't take it personally. It's not because of him, who he is. It's because of you and what you are going through. Yeah, when, uh, when the sharing yeah, and, and informing done correctly, there is no way that you're gonna feel somehow weird and uh, you know like separated because of that thing yeah and of course my question is uh, uh, if your partner is aware of the human design system and if uh, he's uh, in his experiment with that information because at the deep level um, we I personally know that as a projector that we are getting tired from penetrating the aura of the other. So the, if the projector is in his own experiment, he might be very happy to sleep alone with himself and then there's gonna be no problem about it, yeah? And yeah, in your composite, I can see that there is so little definition that you are sharing together and the definition that you do share together, it's kind of, not necessarily uh, takes you on, on the same path. So the question is, are you aware of what's uniting you completely? Yeah, which is not from your mind, but from your body, from your, yeah, from this energetic connection between you. And what are the spheres in life? Yeah, the energies that are very different. And what you're not trying to kind of artificially make it together. That is a really deep point to observe, to look at. Because when you're not trying to kind of artificially create the situation, then you know, this is my space, this is your space, this is our space. And from what I see in your composite, there is a lot of my space and your space, which are not necessarily getting together, you know, all the time. You're not here to like be together all the time. And mm -mm, mm -mm. you're going through your movies and then you get together and you share them. And you see, ah, okay, I've been through this, I've been through that. And that's the point of your, um, of your connection, yeah? Your communication, your direction can be taking on the same, uh, on the same path or not, or not. So that's, um, that's something to, to observe, to see, because on the, on, the, on the unconscious level, you guys can be, can be really um, connected, yeah? your bodies uh maybe very connected and uh, on the level of the of the mind you can go through uh, uh through different stories and that's totally fine you know once you're aware okay there's this individual and that individual and we're getting together at some point you know one of the things i really love about relationships um is this image i'm very visual is this image of the wedding if you know the image of the wedding in almost every culture they, uh, they do such rings, yeah, on the postcards and whatever it is, yeah, they always draw these two rings. And it's a really, really smart thing. Why? Just think about it. You see that one third of the, of the ring, and when, when, I, when I talk about the ring, you can imagine your own aura, yeah, your own psyche, your body, your life, whatever it is. The one third is given to a partner and the two thirds stay separate. Yeah, so for the one third, it's great that you're connecting, sharing, you, you are married, yeah, you obviously live in one space and, and that is the part when you are together. You, you can have your morning rituals, evening rituals, if you don't eat together anymore, you can watch movie together, things like this. And then two thirds are not supposed to be like this. You're still individual. And we're going to the era of individuals. So accept it. 
accepted because you know you also uh, were mentioning your parents and i'm wondering yeah how much conditioning you get from uh, from the past right uh, how much it brings this imprint imprint on your psyche um, and how much you ready to let go and create deeper and deeper the new patterns and then break them and the new patterns and then break them and when you're going through this process you understand there is nothing but your body telling you what's right or wrong yeah as a as a splenic manifester listening to your body and another challenge is uh, for to be a listener yeah um for what your partner has to say without any interruption or giving advices as you as a manifestor probably want to kind of um, share all the time. I mean, your throat is defined with, with two channels. Uh, so it, it has things to, to express. It can express its depth, its talent, its skills. You know, it's uh, all, all of that uh, awareness uh, wants to come out. But when he's talking, you let him talk and see how um, it also gives him space to know himself. That's the only way. Yeah. So in this uh, in this connection, you you are dancing beautifully with you are informing him and you letting him speak. And when he speaks, you are listening without responding or just giving feedback all the time, but just accepting it, accepting this flow of information and seeing how in his flow he already knows deeper and that's that's the thing you know sometimes the self-projected projector is like takes off it's like mm, i don't really need to speak maybe it's not me or is he yeah so here is something to to observe and uh he can support you really well with like bringing you back to the body asking you how does it feel to me? yeah how does your body feel are you okay in the body and 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 that's the space where both of you are really supporting each other in in your on your path on your way for um self-realization and uh, when you are angry just be angry you know? it's good to it's good to inform though yeah i think something wants to come out of me i'm just i'm just gonna speak it out and just do it you know just do it without trying to swallow it and keep it uh, because sometimes you may think oh my god if i'm going to to express this anger i'm not going to be loved yeah, and from what you're writing, it makes uh, an impression that you're still not um, acquainted with your ego center deeply, you know, with your sense of worth. It's like, no matter what I do, if I do it from my authority, there's no way I'm not going to be loved because I'm going to love myself. And when I love myself, the rest is automatically is coming you know there's no double thinking in it. so that is something uh, important yeah and uh, if he's bitter and you know he has no energy and just don't try to stimulate him yeah because um, your relationship is obviously very special um, especially in the way of the social conditioning as a woman yeah you're a manifester you're supposed to it's not like you're supposed to, but you know that you're the driving force in your relationship. And, um, and you are the holder of the only motor in your relationship, this ego motor. And he might be kind of waiting for your um, initiation, which is not conventional at all. And uh, probably you hear a lot like, hey, what is that? He's supposed to kind of be the man, yeah? It's different, it's different. How deeply you accept that, how deeply you, you, you feel that. And um, respect and time, you respect your um, different time. You might be very fast in the decision-making, 
he might need more time. Do you resonate with that? Do you feel um, that here can be the key also for balancing your relationship, knowing yeah, how, um, when to step back and when to kind of speed up. You know, I was just noticing in my relationship, I'm, I'm a very, very fast walker. And uh, when it comes to groceries, you know, I'm so, so slow. And uh, I have to read all the ingredients, you know, and all the packages before I'm choosing them. And uh, I was like, in the last month, I started noticing that we're having this tension with my partner because he's a really slow walker. He kind of likes to be aware of every step he takes and enjoy the clouds and like, come on, come on, come on. And then we arrive to groceries. And he's like, okay, I know, I want this, this, this. He takes this, 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 let's go. I'm like, no, I have to check out this. I have to check out that. So you see, even in like, this journey to, to the groceries, we have different areas where we have different speed. And this um, part in the relationship is very important, yeah? To, to know wh wh what my speed is and where. Because this can be also a, a, a point when you don't agree and don't meet. And it's okay if you're aware of that. And if you're open about it, if you're informing uh, each other, and uh, if you're inviting him to do this and that at his own speed and just accepting it fully. So um, that's my take for now. And of course, if you want to hear more, please, send a more uh, precise question. I hope it was helpful. Ciao for now.